Takia from December's Divine 555. I am here. Sorry, well, just, <laughs> this is unexpected. But I'm here to share a message with all of you. Happy 4th of July to everybody. Um, I'll try to get this much out really quickly before it cuts off or before I have to do it in part. Okay, um, this was just um, an inspirational message for myself today, um, but I had to continue um, with it because um, it was it was just too good. It was just remarkable. All right, now there are a lot of people, um, counterparts who are about to go into union. You can feel the shift. Um, we just had the Cancer Eclipse, Solar Eclipse, um, Venus, and um, well, the Moon just left Cancer into Leo, but Venus is in Cancer, and um, you know um, Mars and Mercury are in Leo. Um, we're in the Shadow Period, but Mercury's about to go retrograde in the sign of Leo. So, whoa, fire, passion. It's crazy, but there are unions happening. There are unions that have already happened. There is reconciliations happening. There are, um, there's communication with the counterparts. So I was led to um, kind of ask a few questions and it just got too good not to share with you guys. So I already pulled some cards here um, and I asked, you know, what is the Divine Masculine's um, plan? What is his plan? in regards to Divine Feminine, okay? And we immediately got the Page of Wands, okay? So immediately it's letting me know that the Divine Masculine is in the very beginning stages of coming to realize that some of the things his Divine Feminine has been saying these synchronicities and all of these signs are awakening something in him. He feels the spiritual power surging within him, but he does not know what to do with that at this time. He's keeping things really close to his chest and he is um, being very private about what he's feeling and experiencing right now, but he's very aware. He also got the um, Five of Wands, which indicates that he is in quite a bit of um, external conflict and internal conflict, in my opinion. He is um, getting a lot of information from all sources, um, unwanted information, advice, and he's just trying to see through it all. He is um, in his mental as re in regards to all the information that he's receiving and he's a little stuck. And um, along came the Nine of Cups. Um, he feels this heavy emotion and he is, and you know, this came out with the Five of Wands um, in regards to his plan for Divine Feminine. He does not understand what to do with all of these emotions right now. Even though he feels them heavily, especially with the, all this Cancer energy, we're going to be getting a lot of cups, okay? He does not know right now clearly what to do with all the emotions. And um, some Divine Feminine are if there has been reconciliation or if there has been some sort of communication aren't really um, open because of um, past trust issues etc so he doesn't know what to do right now with all the emotions that he's feeling he also got the page of pentacles page of wands page of pentacles he's um feeling that he's not up to par in terms of finances he's afraid and worried that he can't fulfill um all the needs of his divine feminine he wants to be the emperor he wants to be the magician he wants to be the high priest you know he wants to embody the hierophant he wants to accept the spirituality in this path but he is a little confused right now in the physical world as far as his material wealth and as far as whether or not he can you know uphold 
you know, um, what his divine feminine wants at this time. So then I ask, you know, what does the divine masculine feel about his divine feminine? You know, what is his feelings, his true, deep, what is his true feelings in regards to her? Like, how does he feel in his heart space? And right under the page of wands, we got the Ace of Cups. The Divine Masculine is aware of their spiritual connection. There is no other person that fulfills him in this way. She is his Two of Cups. This is not a game in his eyes. She is his light. She is his, she makes him overflow. And, and and there is nobody else that can bring the feelings that she brings out in him. Next came out judgment. Divine masculine is um, going through some sort of judgment at this time. It came out right underneath of the Five of Wands, so all of this external conflict and, um, you know, karma and his past choices. He's, he's going through some sort of judgment, and he's aware at this time of what he put her through, and he's feeling that deeply, and he wants to get past all of this, all this conflict. And there is some judgment right now on his life and he he wants to surrender he wants to surrender he wants to get past this he's aware of everything around him right now and the people and the conditioning and it just it's almost sickening to him and he just wants it to be done with but he knows he has to go through the cycle off the bat right now divine masculine definitely definitely can be a water sign scorpio pisces cancer definitely a um a um earth sign virgo capricorn taurus we have fire um out here as well with the page of wands aries sagittarius leo or his divine feminine could be any of those signs next right under the nine of cups ten of cups guys i can't make this up okay his plan for her 